Well, China has made its presence felt at the Australian Open tennis as never before. For the first time, two Chinese players made the women's semi-finals. Li Na and Zheng Jie both bowed out today, but their success has lifted the game's profile back in China. The Chinese media is bending over backwards for Li Na and Zheng Jie, the first Chinese players to advance to the Australian Open semi-finals. I think it was the best day for the whole life. Yeah. <laughs> Former Australian tennis doubles star Sandon Stolly was hand-picked to train with both players for Beijing Olympic glory. It's a great result for uh, Chinese tennis. Um, you know, being over there a few years ago, I just saw how hard the girls really worked, and um, you know, this is a moment for them. You know, they've pretty much made history with Chinese tennis. The smiley Li Na, known for her constantly changing hair colour, has long been a singles up-and-comer, while pint-sized Zheng Jie shot to fame when she made the Wimbledon semi-finals in 2008. They've attracted a record 45 members of the Chinese media to Melbourne. I was following Li Na around uh, uh, yesterday and um, saw everybody interviewing her. I suddenly came, it suddenly came to me, wow, it's a huge deal, you know. But hopes of an all-China final have been dashed, with both women bowing out. Attention is now turning to who will make China equally proud among the men. What is clear is that this year's Australian Open is providing inspiration. They see the Chinese players as heroines. Their success will attract more kids to love and play tennis. Where are the men? Oh, they're still sleeping. They didn't wake up. <laughs> Aaron Kassar, ABC News, Melbourne.